You're joking, aren't you? It's the Teesside Chef. Today I will show you how to take this humble lemon and use it to make this sumptuous, thick and richly flavoured British black treacle. Now, I don't actually think lemons are humble. I find them to be quite arrogant, especially the organic ones, which you must use for this recipe. And I've taken a big slice out of my pretentious lemon, removed any seeds and I've placed it to one side for now. I can then subsequently pour 100 grams of sugar into a large heavy bottomed pan on a medium heat and add 50 millilitres of cold water before swirling around a little to combine the two before allowing to cook untouched and as the sugar water mix cooks it will transition through numerous coloured stages going from clear to a light golden colour and then it will turn a dark amber and be watchful because as you can see with my pan one area appears to be getting darker than the rest so if that happens to you just swirl the pan around again to equalize the heat and achieve an even cooking temperature throughout and after a good while depending on how hot your temperature is the syrup will begin to darken significantly we don't want it to be black black more a very dark tan which you can see here and it shouldn't smell burnt but it should have a dark licorice like scent and at this point we can carefully tip in 500 grams more sugar I've knocked the heat down to low now, just to give me a little more control. And I'll go in next very carefully again with 500 millilitres of boiling water straight from the kettle. Now your pan may protest a little here, but will eventually cool its jets, allowing you to very slowly stir in your added sugar. You know, you might notice some sticky hard bits on the side of the pan or throughout, but don't worry about them for now, because... The addition of our narcissistic lemon slice will prevent crystallisation and as I put the heat to medium again and stir very slowly and carefully, the hard bits in there will eventually dissolve. The acid in the lemon inverts the sugar, breaking it down into its component parts of glucose and fructose so you'll get a nice viscous consistency at the end, but we'll get to that. I want to get a nice gentle rolling boil or solid simmer going on, just need to get Pete in to have a look, see what he thinks, and he says that that's not enough heat, so I should definitely turn it up a little, and he also reminded me that I need to get a plate in the fridge, because I'll need that later for testing. So my heat at a level now that keeps 90 soap opera stars happy, and the plate going into cool will mean that he can manage fruit and veg stall, with no niggling worries in the back of his mind. I'm going to cook the syrup now, uncovered and untouched, for around 50 minutes to one hour, and that time will depend very much on how fast you cook it, of course. I tend to exercise a little caution and go low and slow to avoid overcooking and if you bring your cold plate back in you can test the texture along the way by spooning a little of the syrup on and checking how it firms up once it hits the cold surface this actually looks pretty good here after about an hour but i had already checked it along the way and it wasn't as thick as this so i kept on with the cooking process and conversely if you find it's too hard add a little more boiling water to the syrup until you have your preferred consistency which should be nice and thick and drizzly and luscious. And now that it's done, we can jar it up. Now, you're going to have to pasteurise your jar and the lid by pouring boiling water into both, covering the lid and filling the jar all the way to the top with that boiling water, which brings me to my banal question of the week. Becoming a regular thing, this. All the top YouTubers do it, don't they? This week, do you like water? Drinking it, swimming in it, Puddles, condensation, it's all happening with water these days, isn't it? Everybody's always talking about water, aren't they? Let me know in the comments if you like water. So now you can take your lemon out of the ready syrup with a metal or wooden implement, of course, and then it can be simply poured into the jar, which is now like my good self. Sterile, I'm pouring it through a sieve here as well, just in case there is any lemon or other detritus lurking in there. And it does look very thin at this stage, obviously, but if you did the cold plate test, you have effectively looked into the future and will fully understand that after leaving at room temperature for a number of hours, exact amount unspecified, or better overnight, your cooled black treacle will develop the thick, luscious, rich viscosity that you see here. Bags of flavour, this darkly caramel, not too sweet, not too bitter, slightly licorice with aniseed notes that dance on the tongue, a hint of clove perhaps, sticky and cloying and all made for a fraction of the price you'll pay in the shops or at the fictional market stall that has been abandoned by its killed-off proprietor. I'll see you next time. There.